Hey there! Today we're diving into Ashampoo Music Studio 12. In this video tutorial, I'll show you the recording feature, which we've expanded and improved in version 12. With it, you can easily record high-quality audio from Spotify, Deezer, and Amazon Music. Let's get started. Enjoy the video! I've launched the program. You'll find the recording function right on the home screen. Now, you can choose whether to record through your connected microphone or capture audio from apps like Spotify, YouTube, or other programs. In this example, I'm going to show you how to record from apps, so I'll click on Apps and Audio. You can still directly record from audio devices using the Audio Devices option. For now, though, let's focus on the recordable apps in my example. On the right-hand side, you can select the folder where the recording will be saved. You can also give your recording a custom file name. Version 12 introduces a new feature. You can activate a switch that detects silence during recording and automatically starts a new file when silence is detected. Another new option is to use the name of the audio source and even the track name, if detected, as part of the file name. Since different apps provide varying info, title detection may differ. You can turn this feature on using this toggle here. Further down, you can adjust the file format and recording quality. In my example, I've enabled both of these new features. Under the Recordable Apps tab, you'll find a list of programs you can start recording from. Tip. For better results, use the native apps instead of the browser versions. The list shows all programs currently playing audio. Some apps might appear here that you don't actually want to record from. To make things clearer, you can hide these apps using this toggle. Hidden apps can be shown again under Show Hidden Apps and Unhidden if needed. Now I want to record from Spotify. I've started the Spotify app and it shows up here in the list of recordable apps. Why use the app instead of a browser? Because browser tabs, email alerts or random videos might sneak into the recording. That's not a problem with Spotify, but with YouTube, for example, it's harder to avoid. A workaround is to use two separate browsers, one for playback, one for browsing. Next, I click the microphone icon to switch into recording mode. Click the mic again to start recording. The program now enters standby mode, so you can press play in Spotify at your own pace. Recording begins as soon as sound is detected. To stop the recording, just click the mic again. If you play a playlist in Spotify, a new file is created for each song, just like you can see here in my example. Pro tip, turn off Spotify's Crossfade Songs feature for cleaner cuts. While recording, you can already rename the files or edit their metadata, like the title, artist, album, and even cover art. Covers can be added from local files or fetched online using the cover search. The recording ends when you hit the mic again. Of course, this works the same way with other programs and apps too. I'm finishing my example recording from the apps now clicking Next to return to the home screen. With the recording feature, you can quickly build up a great music collection. And if you want to turn that collection into an awesome mixtape, check out the mixtape in Music Studio. Let's launch the mixtape. Here, you can choose between the DJ mixtape and what I'll call the regular mixtape. The difference? The DJ mixtape analyzes track speed and blends them together more smoothly. But if you're into variety, the normal mixtape might be the better fit, so I'll go with that for this example. 
You can drag and drop music files directly into the mixtape, or you can select entire folders or individual files using the icons. Then, you can set fade in and fade out effects and optionally create a cue sheet, a playback list. Click Next to set the format and quality, and once more to choose the file name and save location for your mix. After that, the mixing starts. It may take a moment depending on how many tracks you've added. Music Studio also has lots of other cool features. You can explore them anytime by clicking the info button in the top right, and we've linked more videos in the description below. That's it for this quick look at some of the new features in version 12. Hope you enjoy using the program. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and follow us so you won't miss any new videos. We always provide the best information on various programs. Bye, take care, and see you next time.